Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ. Got a trippy one for you today. We're going to look at the five supernatural secrets that are hidden here in Red Dead Redemption 2. Starting off in Roanoke Valley, one of the most haunted locations in the game, and home to the Army of the Dead. We're going to go over that and a lot more in today's video. First, I did want to give a quick shout out to all the new subs. We're going to have a live stream tomorrow night, so if you want to join up, just make sure to subscribe if you are new and hit the notification bell. It'll let you know as soon as we go live here in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now we're starting off not too far from Annisburg. There's a story about two kids who leave the town to go explore the forest. They then start to hear strange sound effects and come in contact with a ghost army. One of the kids gets beheaded. His head falls right into the hands of the other child who runs all the way back to Annisburg in fear where they say that she committed some sort of witchcraft. They end up burning her at the stake. It's a dark story but it shows you that the army of the dead is supposed to show up right here. How you know that is because you can hear ghostly whispers. Sometimes when you're exploring the woods, you can hear the whispers. They sound very creepy and mysterious. Well, it turns out to be from a movie that shows that the ghost army is real. Do me a favor, hit the like button. It really helps out. Do you know the five different supernatural sightings that are hidden in the game? We'll go over all of them in today's video. So with that said, Let's listen to the ghostly whispers that you can sometimes hear right here in the Roanoke Ridge. I'll turn up the audio so you can hear the whispers. They are from an in-game movie called The Ghostly Serenade. So if you've seen the movie, you might not think much of it. But once you find the whispers, the quotes from that actual movie, it tells us that the movie is fact and not fiction. The first time I saw that, I was pretty freaked out, but then it got even weirder when I saw the in-game movie, The Ghostly Serenade. So when you watch it, it seems unbelievable at first, but then you realize that the whispers from the forest are heard in the movie, and the ending of it is very crazy. So it shows us that there's paranormal activity happening in the Annisburg area. Greetings and salutations, gentlefolk. This here's a story about a young couple from the village of Annisburg that was courting a few years after the Revolutionary War. Courting in the woods, as you know young people want to do. Stealing away all sneaky-like. Girl by the name of Ethel Beauchard snuck out of the parlor one evening just as soon as her mother went out to hang clothes on the line from the washing. She met up on the road by her farm with a boy. By the name of Eugene Hutton, they heard a low moaning sound. What's that terrible noise? She said all a tremble. Must be a sick calf looking for its mama. They've been known to bawl like that. Let me take a look, said Eugene. You should be ashamed of yourself, Eugene Hutton. I need to get back home. My mama has a terrible temper. She's like to stomp up and down if she finds out we're missing. She is a fair stout woman, Eugene noted. But just then, before this couple of miscreants could head home, they heard the sound of heavy wheels groaning and people marching. The cacophony grew closer and closer, and through the fog, they could make out the shapes of ghost horses pulling spectral cannons and dead soldiers marching as if their graves could no longer contain them, each wearing a vile red coat. You will pay for your moral transgressions, the dead soldier howled and cut his head clean off. Miss Beauchard shrieked in horror as Eugene's head landed right in her hand, his eyes still darting about, attempting to discern what horror had transpired. She returned home. She told the people of the village that an army of the dead had taken Eugene within the confines of the farm. She raised the dead to murder that boy for his pursuit of unwanted advances, he said. So she too must perish. And that very night, they put her to the stake and burned her dead. There you have it. If you've ever walked around here wondering why it's so creepy or heard the whispers in the woods, it is because of the ghost army of the dead. So that's just the first of the supernatural sightings. The second one 
is at Cobbs instead. I'll meet you there. It looks straight out of Resident Evil. So if you go to the bottom of the well that you can find outside, there's an ominous message. You see that? There's tallies, a cross, in fact, three crosses, a sun. Well, there were slaves that were trapped in the bottom of the well. Eventually, you meet a man named Jeremiah Compson. You go inside the house and find a hidden slave dungeon. So the house has a terrible backstory. Look at the scratches on this hatch. You can tell the hatch was closed, trapping the slaves inside the well where they most likely died. So there has to be some ghostly spirits somewhere around Compson's stead. Well, in the windows, I believe it's right after 8 o'clock, you can find a light. You see that light in the window? Wait till you see when it disappears. You can tell it is some sort of ghostly presence that is inside Compson's stead right now. Out of all the ghosts, all the different sightings within Red Dead Redemption 2, I find this one to be the creepiest because we know the backstory. It is an ugly truth when it comes to the past in this area. You eventually meet Compson, you learn that there's a slave dungeon and people have died in that dungeon as well as in the well. So you can see it between eight and nine. And once it gets closer to nine, you'll notice that the light just kind of drifts away. You might think it's a glitch, but the way the ghost disappears into the night, to me, shows it is a supernatural sighting here in Red Dead Redemption 2. So it should go away any moment. And there it is. Let me know what you guys think, the ghost of Compsonstead. Let's move on to the strange man, a ghostly Grim Reaper from Red Dead Redemption 1, who returns for the prequel. So here's where you first find him, a tall, mysterious man in all black. He's got the top hat, the mustache, and you find him in the middle of nowhere. After you talk to him a few times, you realize that he knows a lot about John, almost too much. Well, he's not just any ghost. He is death himself. The Grim Reaper stalking John Marston throughout Red Dead Redemption 1. And in Red Dead 2, we find out he has a house. He has a lone cabin in the middle of the swamp, not too far away from San Denis. If you go back to the cabin enough times, you can unlock a rare Strange Man ghost sighting. Now, the final appearance of the Strange Man in Red Dead Redemption 1, John gets so frustrated that he tries to shoot him, only to find out that the bullets go right through him. So at that moment, we do learn that he is a ghost. It was crazy that he returned, and he's more mysterious than ever in Red Dead Redemption 2. So take a look at that final appearance here in this game, and then we'll look at the ghost as he creeps behind John in the cabin found in the swamp. We have to stop meeting like this, John. Ain't this a beautiful spot? Sure. What are you doing here? My accounts. I'm an accountant. Is that so? In a way. What's your name? You know, it's the darndest thing. I can't remember. See you around, cowboy. Damn you! Yes, many have. We are, I believe it's called Bayal Edge, home sweet home. Be careful around here, it is alligator infested. You can find some good eggs to make a killer omelet. Never mind. Now keep in mind the first few times you go in, it'll seem mostly unassuming. There's an uncompleted painting, some burning candles, riddles on the wall, a normal house in Red Dead Redemption 2. But when you finally show up and the painting is complete, that is where the strange man makes his appearance. The first thing that you'll notice is it says inspect painting on the bottom right. So when you see that, you'll know that he is there watching. If you look in the mirror, you can see the strange man. The painting has been completed. Now he's not really there. If you turn around, he'll disappear. He'll be gone. And if you light the cabin on fire, he'll still stand there, the fire will also not appear in the mirror. So it's almost like it's some sort of parallel dimension. Turned around, tried to shoot him, but just like in Red Dead Redemption 1, he cannot be shot. You see how when you first walk in, he's kind of moving around. And then also notice how the hat is now missing. It's not hanging up next to the mirror because he's actually wearing it. 
Let me know what you guys think about this strange man, one of the most mysterious characters in all of Red Dead Redemption. I hope he makes a comeback for Red Dead Redemption 3. Let's move on to the fourth supernatural sighting, which can be found at Fort Riggs. This place has been completely destroyed. So here's the schoolhouse in the middle of the fort. One look at it, you could tell it has a very dark backstory. Not unlike what we talked about back at Cops Instead. And just like that location, this place also has a ghost sighting. It appears in the schoolhouse. Now we eventually learned that many Native Americans were held captive here and died in the fort. It's extremely sad. I do have to give a special shout out to my good friend Anaruko from White Hair Investigations. She'd also covered Fort Riggs. I'll put a link in the description to her video. Now she believes that the fort is connected to Rains Falls, one of my favorite characters in the game. And if you watch the Red Dead Redemption 2 final credits, Rains Falls is the final character who appears. So it would make sense that the ghost that you could find right here at Fort Riggs is none other than Rains Falls' wife. So you have to get a little bit of distance from the fort and then look back at the schoolhouse. You see that? That is when you can see the ghostly silhouette. Now bear in mind, there is no lighting in Fort Riggs. We were just in there. It was pretty much pitch black. There's no lights, no candles, nothing like that. I find it so creepy the way it appears and then disappears. You see that? That's crazy. It could be a glitch. Sometimes it could be hard to tell, but considering this is one of the darkest locations in the game with a backstory of many Native Americans dying right there at Fort Riggs, it would make sense for Rockstar to put a ghost, and it might even be the ghost of Rains Falls' wife. Let me know what you think. There's a lot to talk about when it comes to Fort Riggs. There's even a note that you can find, which is a riddle giving us even more history to the fort. Let's move on to the fifth and final ghost sighting, the Swamp Ghost. Have you ever noticed that the graveyard behind Shady Bell has some of the tombstones underwater? You can even read the names. Poor Michelle Jardoin, she probably floated away. Now if you look at all the tombstones, one stands out more than the others, which is the grave of Agnes Dowd. She is one of the biggest secrets in the game. Age 19, tragically took her own life and others on September 4th, 1883. May she rest in peace. So sometimes when you ride through the swamp, you can hear the voice of Agnes. And if you keep going back to that same location, you'll eventually see her actual ghost, and then you can unlock her final appearance, which lets you know exactly how Agnes Dowd died. I left him for you. I left everything. <laughs> hey, stranger. I know you've been watching me. Come, meet me in the swamps by our tree. Come to our tree. I love you. There you have it. Supernatural secrets hidden in Red Dead Redemption 2. Did you know all five? There's actually one more that I did not include in this video that we'll be covering in a big way coming up soon. Did you know the final ghost sighting? It's not a person this time. It's something much bigger. Do me a favor, hit the like button. It really helps out. And don't forget, we got another live stream coming soon. So subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification bell. It'll let you know anytime we go live. Here trippy commentaries. Until next time, see you later, alligator. Stay tuned. And as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?